Good afternoon, everyone. So welcome to mathematics class. We are now on week four of the school year 2021 to 2022, first quarter, division of Taguig City and Pateros. Okay? So mga hindi pa nakakapag-subscribe, uh, kindly uh, hit the subscribe button and share the video as well. So... Uh, Our lesson for today is about uh, GCF and LCM. So at the end of this video, you are expected to find the common factors of two to four numbers using continuous division, find the greatest common factor or the GCF of two to four numbers using continuous division, and find the multiples of two to four numbers using continuous division and find the least common multiple or LCM of two to fourth number using continuous division, okay? So let's have the definition of terms. So we have the GCF or we have the greatest common factor and the LCM or the least common multiple, okay? So let's have an exercise. So the problem is Andrea helps her mother in their garden. There is all 36 um, bongambelia plants and 60 rose plants. They need to deliver those plants in the resort. What is the biggest number of uh, bongambelia and roses that can be placed in delivery trucks if these are of the same number? Okay. So ngayon, Ang hahanapin natin dyan is yung kanyang GCF. So we need to find the GCF of 36 and 60. Okay? And to find the GCF, we will be using the continuous division. So 30 and 60. First thing, arrange the given numbers horizontally. So like this. And 36 and 60. Next, then write the common prime factor divisor at the left. So 36 and 60, yung prime factors niya is 2. So prime factors class, it's either, um, doon tayo magsisimula sa pinakamababa, we have 2, 3, 5, 7, and then 11. Yan, dyan tayo magsisimula. Pag hindi siya, pag hindi siya prime factors ng 2, move to the 3 and then 5 and so on and so forth. But usually 2, 3 lang yan sa 5 kalimitan. Next. Kapag nahanap natin unang factors, which is the 2, let's divide. 36 divide 2, we have 18. 60 divide 2, we have 30. Okay? So, ang sagot natin is 18 and saka 30. So, meron pa ba? So, again, another factors, we have 2. Then, 18 divide 2, we have 9. 30 divide 2, we have 15. And then, meron bang factors? 2 in this, so the answer is 3. So, 9 divide 3 equals 3. And then 15 divided 3 equals 5. So 5 and 3, meron ba makakapag-divide sa kanilang dalawa? Wala na. So this is gonna be yung number sa left side, this one. Mumultiply mo lang yan. The common prime factors are 2, 2, and 3. Yan yung common factors na. And therefore, 2 times 3 times 3 equals 12. So meaning to say, 12 is the greatest common factor of 36 and 60. So we obtain the GCF of the given numbers by getting the product of all the prime numbers or the device or prime divisors of the common factors. Imo multiply lang natin ito. Yan. Minasa gilid. Pag na multiply na natin siya, edi yun na yung sagot niya. Okay. Next, we have another example. So Richard and Francis collected used plastic bottles for recycling. They had they arranged the bottles in boxes of 8 and 12. What is the least number of bottles they gathered in all? Okay, from the word least number. So in this um problem, we were looking at the LCM naman. Ayan. Ayan. So the first thing First step to find the LCM is first arrange the given numbers. Ayan. In arrange na natin 8 and 12. Then find the common uh, factors. So 8 and 12, ang factors niya is we have the 2. Ayan. So 18 divided 2, because 4. Uh, 8 divided 2, 4. 12 divided 2 is 6. And then, kung meron mo ba silang common factors, 
2 pa rin. So, 4 divide 2 equals 2. 6 divide 2 equals 3. So, dito, divide the numbers by the least prime numbers which divides at least one of the numbers. Any number not divisible by the prime factor is brought down to the next row. Bakit daw? Kasi po, continue until two numbers in a row has a common prime factor. So, dito sa LCM, kung tatlo yung given numbers natin, kapag yung dalawa, Kapag merong dalawang numbers na pwede mo pa siyang, may, na meron pang common factors, pwede pa natin siyang ituloy. And then yung hindi siya mali-divide, i-bring down lang natin siya. Hanggang sa lahat is wala ng common, um, wala ng common factors. Okay? So dito naman, imbis na itong ginit lang yung multiply natin, kasama natin yung baba. Yan. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 equals 24. Yan, yan yung least common factors. Ang tala na natin sa least common factor class, yan yung unang tatamaan sa continuous counting. For example, 8. Yan. And then 12. Yan. So let's add by themselves lang kung ano yung unang tatamaan na kapareha sila. Yan yung ating GCF. Okay? Next, we have 8. and 16. 24, 32. Ayan. Next naman sa kabila, 12. 12 plus 12, 24. 24 plus 12, 36. Yan. Kung ano yung unang magkapareha sila for the skip, skip counting yan. So, yung sabihin, yan. 24 is the least common multiple. Okay? So, therefore, as I read that this is the least common multiple, and if you want to get the next two common multiples, multiply 24 by 2, which is 48, multiply 24 by 3, which is 72. So the first three common multiples of 8 and 12 are 24, 48, and 72. Yeah, yung first three common least multiple na magkakapareha sila. Okay? So by getting the product of uh, all the prime divisor at at and the last set of quotients, we get the least common multiple. So sa GCF, itong dagilid lang, ito lang. Pero sa LCM natin, this one. So for checking, mag-skip counting tayo. Kung ano yung unang magkaparehas, natatamaan siya na magkaparehas sila, that's the LCM of both numbers. Okay? So let's have an exercise. Ayan. So direction. Find the GCF of the following. 24 and 32. Okay, 24 and 32. So, isip tayo ng numbers na makakapag-divide sa kanya. Uh, Parehas sila. So, we have 2. Ayan. 24 divided 2, we have 12. 32 divided 2, we have 16. Ayan. And then down, uh, another another number of it. Usually, let's start with 2. Ayan. 12 divided 2, we have 8. Uh, sorry, we have 6. And then 16 divided 2, we have 8. Ayan. And then another number ulit, 2 na naman siya. So 6 divided 2, we have 3. And 8 divided 2, we have 4. Ayan. Meron pa ba? Uh, kung gagamit tayo ng 2 dito, makakapag-divide siya ng 3? Hindi. Kung 3 naman, makakapag-divide siya ng 3? Yes. Pero sa 4, hindi siya naman factors ng ng 3. So it means wala na siya. So this is the answer na. So the GCF is 2 times 2 times 2 is equal yan 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so the answer is 8 that's the greatest common factor na 8 okay so next another example yan ito tatlo naman siya so again, magsisito tayo magsisimula. 12 divided 2, we have 6. 30 divided 2, we have 15. And then 42 divided 2, we have 21. Ayan. And then kung 2 ang tatay natin, dito, 6 divided 2, pwede. 15 divided 2 cannot be. So let's move to number 3. 6 divided 3, pwede. 15 divided 3, pwede rin. 21 divided 3, pwede. So, this one is 3. Ayan. Trial and error lang siya. 6 divided 3, we have 2. 15 divided 3, we have 5. 
And then 21 divided by 3, we have 7. Ayan, nakita natin, yung dito sa baba is common factors na lang to mga prime numbers na to itong 2, 5, 7. So, ibig sabihin, wala na siya. Kasi 2 or 3, wala na kasi ng pasto na. So, distance na lang. 2 and 3, yan. So, the GCF, yan. We will just multiply 2 times 3 equals 6. Yan. So, the answer is 6. That's the GCF of 12, 30, and 42. Okay? So, next, do naman tayo sa LCM. Ayan. Find the LCM of the following numbers. Ayan. 4, 6, and 12. Ang sabi dito, find the common factors, at least two of the numbers. Kapag hindi na siya, bring down the number na hindi niya, na hindi siya madidivide. And then the rest, kung pwede ba naman madivide. So, let's start with 2. Ayan. 4 divide 2, we have 2. 6 divide 2, we have 3. Ayan. And 12 divide 2, we have 6. Ayan. So, mag-isip tayo ng dalawang numbers. So, we have 2 again. Ayan. 2 divide 2, we have 1. 3 divide 2, dahil nga hindi siya pwede, the bring down natin, at least 2 di ba? Kasi yung 2 and 6 is divisible by 2 pa. 6 divide 2, we have 3. Ayan. Dito naman, isip tayo. So, yan. May 3 siya. Pwede siya sa 3. So, 1 divide 3. Bogsak lang natin to bring down. Kasi nga, yung dalawa naman is equivalent. So, 3 times 3. Ah, 3 divide 3, 1. 3 divide 3, 1 din. So, ito, wala na to X na yan, ha? So, ito na yung sagot sa LCM. So, sa LCM is 2 times 2 times 3. Yan. Itong 1, wala na siya kasi times 1 muna times 1, yung parehas pa rin naman siya. So, 2 times 2, we have 4 times 3 equals 12. Yeah, there's gonna be the answer, 12. So, let's check. 4, 6, and then 12. Ayan. So, so 4, 4, 8, 12, 16. So, 6 naman, 6, 12, 18. Sa 12 naman, eh di 12 ang umpisa. And then 24, 36. Ayan, nakita natin na pare-pareha siyang merong. Yung unang numbers na magkakaparehas is 12. Ayan. So the answer is 12. For checking lang yun. Next example. 3, 6, and 15. Ayan. So let's start with 2. Siyempre, hindi na siya madibad sa 3. Pero madibad siya sa 6. Sa 15, hindi rin siya. So, X. Let's start with the 3. Ayan. 3 divided 3 is 1. 3 div 6 divided 3 is 2. 15 divided 3 is equals to 5. Ayan. So, lahat to is factors na siya. So, let's start with multiplying it na kasi wala na eh. So, 3 times 1 times 2 times 5 equals... 3 times 1 equals 3. 3 times 2 equals 6 times 5 equals 30. So, the LCM is 30. To double check, 3, 6, and then 15. Ayan. So, this one is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Masyado nga haba lang. So, 21. 24, 27, and then 30. This one naman, kasi try natin 30. 15 and then 30. Ayan. So, 15 meron siya. Dito naman may 15 din siya. So, pag may 15 dito, it means to say na 15 ang sagot. Pero kung wala, the next number is 30. So, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Yan. So, walang 15. Para parehas nila is, ayan, 30. For checking lang. So, it means to say that 30 is the LCM of 3, 6, and 15. Always remember, sa GCF, dito lang sa side na to. Pero pag LCM, ito at saka this one. Okay? So, Please so remember to find the GCF of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division. Write the numbers horizontally and find a prime number that will divide all the numbers 
if possible, then divide by the prime number and write the quotients below the dividends. Continue the process until none of the numbers have a common prime divisors. The GCF is the product of all prime divisors. And then to find the LCM of set of numbers using continuous division, arrange the numbers in a horizontal line and then divide them by a factor common to two or more and of the numbers, any number not divisible by this prime factor is brought down to the next row. Continue until two numbers is in the is in a new row has common factor. The product of all the divisors and the numbers in the final row is the LCM. Okay, so I think that's all for uh, today. So if you learn from this video, kindly uh, hit the uh, like, share, and subscribe, and see you on my next video. Bye.